Good day everyone, this is Sardana Apostol. In today's video, we are going to discuss quadrilaterals. So what do you mean by quadrilaterals? So let us define quadrilaterals first. So a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon and the sum of all angles is equal to 360. So, we can see here that ex an example of quadrilateral. So, pag in natin yung angle A, angle D, and angle C, and angle B, that is equal to 360 degrees. So, we have different kinds of quadrilaterals. We have parallelogram. What is a parallelogram? A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. So, we have here uh, side AB is parallel to side BC. Side BC is parallel to side AD. So, we have uh, two pairs of parallel sides. We have also a trapezoid. Trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. So, this is an example of uh, trapezoid. So, we have here uh, this side is parallel to this side. So, we have one pair of parallel sides. And also, we have trapezium. So, trapezium is a quadrilateral with no parallel sides. It has the same uh, property with the general quadrilateral. So, as we can see in the example, it has no parallel sides. Next, we have also rectangle. Rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. It is also considered as equiangular quadrilateral because all angles or all interior angles are equal. So in this example, A is a right angle, B is also right angle, C is also right angle, D is also an angle, D is also a right angle. So they are uh, equal to 90 degrees. We have also the rhombus. Rhombus is a quadrilateral whose four sides all have the same length. So it means that uh, the measurement of all the sides are the same. So in this example we have this side is equal to this side and also equal to this side and also equal to this side so it is a rhombus next we have the square the square is a quadrilateral with all sides and all angle angles are equal so it has uh, the same property with uh, rectangle and rhombus so the angles are equiangular, then we have equilateral. So a square is an equiangular and also equilateral quadrilateral. We have also the isosceles trapezoid. It is a quadrilateral with a pair of legs that are congruent. So, in this example, we have a uh, trapezoid, T-R-A-P. So, side T-R 
is par parallel to side PA that makes this a trapezoid. And side TP is congruent to side RA. So it is called an isosceles trapezoid because it has a pair of legs that are congruent. And also we have kite. Kite is a quadrilateral with whose whose four sides can be grouped into two pairs of equal length sides that are adjacent to each other. When we say adjacent, they are consecutive sides. So, this is an example of kite. So, we have here side AB is congruent to side BC. And side AB is congruent to side CD. So, we have uh, equal adjacent sides. So, one pair uh, two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal. Okay, let's take a look on this family tree of quadrilateral. So, we have here on top uh, the general quadrilateral. So, what is a quadrilateral? It is a four-sided polygon uh, whose interior angles have the sum of 360 degrees. Under quadrilateral, we have parallelogram. Parallelogram uh, is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. And also we have trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel side and we have also the trapezium with no sides that are parallel then under parallelogram we have rectangle so a rectangle is a quadrilateral whose angles are congruent and we have the rhombus is a quadrilateral whose sides are congruent and under them under rectangle and rhombus we have square then the property of rectangle and rhombus are in square so uh, a square is a quadrilateral whose sides are congruent and whose interior angles are also congruent under trapezoid, we have isosceles trapezoid. Isosceles trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of sides that are congruent, or the legs are congruent. And under trapezium, we have the kite who, uh, with two adjacent sides that are congruent. And under kite is also a square, so meaning uh, a square has a property of the height. Okay, in this activity, we are going to name the following quadrilaterals. So, let's uh, name the following. So, what is the name of this figure? Okay, that is a quadrilateral. And how about this figure? Okay, that is a parallelogram. And this figure, it is a trapezoid. And this figure, it is a trapezium. How about this one? Okay, this is the rectangle. And this one is the rhombus. And this one is the isosceles trapezoid. And this one, is the kite and this one is the square okay so take note of this uh, quadrilaterals thank you for watching our video make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated for our future uploads this is teacher dan or sir dan apostol thank you and god bless